Hey guys, I'm Rachel from Scuba Otter and today I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Garmin Descent MK2i for you. Um, but before we jump right into the unboxing, I'm going to give you a little bit of background onto the Garmin Descent series. So the MK1, released in 2018, was Garmin's first foray into the dive computer industry and it could be excused for being a little bit crap because it was the first one, but it took everyone by surprise by being one of the best dive computers on the market quite quickly. Um, but the real thing that set the MK1 apart was that it was the first dive computer to combine dive computer capabilities with fitness tracker capabilities from Garmin's other watches um, and a smartwatch. So theoretically it combined three devices into one. It could replace your Fitbit, your Apple Watch and your Sunto 4R. But the Garmin MK1 wasn't without its issues and without its criticisms from the diving industry. So Garmin did what Garmin do best and they listened to feedback from expert divers and they beta tested um, and they came up with the MK2 um, in November of 2020. So this is a very new release, it's only been out for a couple of months. So the MK2 model of the Descent series comes in two types, it comes with the MK2 and the MK2i. Um, the main difference between the two is that the MK2i features air integration, that's what the I stands for. Um, so, we need to talk about the air integration. So, instead of just using the standard VHF radio frequency, which most air integrated dive computers use, so they have the tank pod and the pod, and then they have the dive computer, and they're connected by radio frequency. That's the standard. It's, it's very reliable, it's used all over the diving industry, many different brands use it. Garmin decided that that wasn't quite good enough for them, so they decided to use brand new proprietary sonar technology. So they used their background in GPS and tracking um, and helped develop this new sonar technology that they called Subwave. So Subwave is based on sonar. So it goes a lot further, especially in water. Um, so basically it means that you can track the air consumption from up to 10 meters away from the tank pod that's called the T1 transmitter, which is comes separately from the dive computer. Um, yeah, so you can actually read a tank pod from up to 10 meters away, which is pretty mad, but I can see you're wondering why you would want to. Well, not only can it stretch up to 10 meters away, but you can also read up to five transmitters on one dive computer. So on just this, you can see up to five air consumption rates so you could use this as if you had five decompression tanks, for example. Um, you could monitor your buddy if you're swimming alongside without being literally on top of them. Um, if you're swimming with your child or diving with your child, you could uh, monitor their tank pressure. And the key thing that Garmin has said that they think this could be used for is potentially for class control. So as a dive instructor, potentially, if all of your students had um, a T1 transmitter tank pod on their tank, um, you would be able to, as the instructor, monitor you, monitor you and four students' air consumption. So there'd be no more open water students lying that they only had 50 bar in their tank. You would be able to see exactly how much. Now, obviously, the issue with this is that Garmin products are not cheap and many dive centres are not flush with cash, especially right now, obviously. Um, so that is, you know, the ideal world scenario. The, tr the fact is that this probably won't happen for a few years unless you're a really lush dive centre, basically. Um, but this opens up the possibilities um, and potentially in the future this could be how dive classes are run. Like Garmin have really opened the door for new opportunities here. So that's enough talk. Let's get into the box. All right, let's get started. So this is the box for the Garmin Descent MK2i. Um, you can see there with lots of nice glossy pictures. All right, so this is what you get when you open the box. So you get the nice, pretty, glossy MK2i. Um, this is actually a sticker, so we can take that off. Um, but that does show what the 
dive screen will look like when we open it up. Okay, so here we have the front screen of the MK2i. You can see that it's it's a titanium bezel. So I think on the MK2 you can have either stainless steel or titanium, but I think on the MK2i you currently only have the option of titanium, so that's what we've currently got. Um, you can see the buttons, so they're quite nice and big, nice and feelable. Um, so I think you'd probably be able to press those quite easily, even with gloves on. Um, you can see, so I'll just undo the strap. So this is a the standard silicone strap that you get with it. So that's pretty much the best one for diving. Um, and if we just flip it over here, you can see this is the charger pod. So everything that's in the box. Okay, so this is the charger port. So as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty new kind of thing. You don't plug anything in. There's no open ports to get water stuck in or anything like that. I think you literally just, yeah, there you go. You just clip it on um, and it'll charge for you. And it's a standard USB adapter, so pretty easy to get a plug, or you can plug into your laptop, I assume. Um, so other things on the back, so this is the heart rate monitor and the pulse oximeter. Um, yeah, so it's asking me to set up and do that. do that in a minute. So this is the extra long strap, that's for if you're diving with a thick wetsuit or a dry suit. Um, I think it's just a... So I've never done this before and that's pretty simple. So. I'll do that later. Okay, and the other thing in the box is the descent setup guide. So that's the manual, comes in all sorts of different languages and setups and this is the important safety and product information so same deal really all the fun safety stuff okay i'm gonna go and set this dive computer up and i'll come back okay so i've unboxed it and i've set it up um obviously i can't really film the setting up because i had to do it on my phone which i'm filming this on um, but I just wanted to show you guys one last thing, which is the size of it. So the MK1 is one third smaller, or the screen, the face is uh, roughly one third smaller. So I guess it's like that. Um, that means this model is, it's a lot easier to read. It's a lot easier to see. Um, but I just wanted to show you, show you what it looks like on my wrist. So this is what it looks like on my wrist. I am... Um, a girl obviously and I have quite small dainty little wrists and hands um, and it's not it's not huge but I would be lying if I said it was dainty um, yeah so if you were a guy I think this would be a completely acceptable size or even a girl with slightly larger wrists for me this is a little big um, I would say it's a little bit clunky on my wrist um, and I have to have it set quite far back because the back needs to be completely in contact with your skin. So I need to get it out of the way of this bone here. Um, but equally, it's quite light, it's quite movable um, and the strap is quite comfortable. So it's not really a huge issue for me. Thanks for watching our unboxing video of the Garmin Descent MK2i. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you've got any more questions or any comments, um, be sure to leave them down in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.